Thank you so much, Monica, ma'am. Uh, hello, good evening, kids. Uh, I think one student is already here who is studying from me, already taking fourth class. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, my name is Jyoti Sadana, and I'm the sci your science mentor for today. And um, as far as my qualifications are concerned, I'm a postgraduate in chemistry and also B.Ed. And also I have cleared my CTT exam. And uh, as far as my experience is concerned, I'm having nine years of teaching experience online as well as offline. And uh, in schools also, various schools I have taught. And now I'm having an online teaching experience. And um, as uh, you all are here to be preparing yourself for the Olympiad exam, you are enrolling here for your Olympiad exam. A uh, little bit just I want to say, uh, rest I think will Rajan sir will cover, just in two, three lines I want to say that the, as you are preparing for Olympiad, this is a little bit a different exam from your normal school descriptive exams, okay? These are totally MCQ or uh, objective type of questions will come here with the four options and you have to take the correct answer. And uh, here, uh, the questions are not very simple as you can just guess that they are simple. They are not so simple. They are more focuses on the practical questions of the science rather than the theoretical questions because nobody here will ask you to define or to describe or to explain they will simply ask you the depth of the concept so by for preparing or by preparing uh, for the Olympiad exams you will get the in-depth knowledge of the subject it will enhance your concept clarity and also that it will increase your scientific way of thinking and as far as uh, my teaching concern, style is concerned that uh, I'm going to relate more and more science concepts with the real life examples and also doing small activities uh, wherever and when required and uh, also asking you more and more questions. Even I will also learn from you, isn't it? Yes, we, we will learn together, okay? Because some concepts you know, I don't know, okay? So we will learn together, correct? So... This is my introduction. Over to you, Monica, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. That was really an interesting uh, description. And, uh, you know, uh, children, I believe that you'll have uh, fun learning sessions, you know, fun-packed learning sessions with Jyoti, ma'am. And an interesting piece of uh, information Mokshik is uh, sharing with us. That, ma'am, my Masi's name is Jyoti and my grandmother's name is Sadana. <laughs> oh, good. So you'll get a combination of both the dignitaries in ma'am, right? Uh, so, uh, Khadija, you need to check your uh, audio settings in case voice is not coming because I believe that my voice is uh, getting across. Is it, Rajan sir? Yes, ma'am. You're right. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Khadija, please uh, check your audio settings once or maybe uh, if that is not working, you can rejoin us uh, so that your voice, uh, that my voice is audible. Okay. Now, uh, children, I would request Rajan sir to please uh, show you a short PPT. That will be very uh, important uh, information to you. So all over to you, Rajan, sir. Sure, ma'am. Thank you. So students, uh, firstly, I'm sharing some links with you. Okay. So there is a syllabus link in the chat box I have shared. Then there is a payment link, uh, feedback form. Then there is a link for all batch today. If you want to check for any other batch, uh, you can use that link. And students, as of now, we are live on Facebook. So in case if you face any technical glitch on Zoom, so you can also watch the demo, live demo on Facebook also. Then there is our YouTube channel link. So you can subscribe on Olympiad Success YouTube channel. So many sessions are uh, free available there. Okay. Now let me just share my screen. Okay. I think my screen is visible. Yes, it is. Okay. So welcome students. Welcome to the demo of grade five science uh, Olympiad. This is an extended course. Firstly, let me tell you about us, about Olympiad Success. So Olympiad Success is India's largest online tuition platform for Olympiad exam. We have Olympiad live classes and this is a third year live classes. So then we also have school test program. So in school test program, we offer eight courses that are mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning, communication, communication spoken written, both Vedic maths as well as coding. What else? We also offer online CBSE plus Olympiad classes for grade six to 10. And one-on-one -on -one preparation classes for International Mathematics Olympiad like CESMO, CMO, HKMO, TIMO, Math Count, US Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, PRMO, and also JMIN preparation classes. Now meet the rank holder for session 21-22.
so many students in olympiad success got international rank in various various olympiads now students about this course like you know uh, it's an accelerated course so in accelerated course we reduce the number of classes by 20% so as the fee okay as your olympiad exams are going to come now in november uh, you have the exams so there will be around 20 students in the classes and the classes will be conducted on zoom platform so there will be four session per week the days will be monday wednesday thursday and saturday and the timing is 5 pm to 6:15 pm okay the session include mix of theory practice question and doubt session and we will also discuss previous year olympiad paper and students you will get reading material and practice question which is available on the dashboard of olympiad success uh, i will show you after this ppt and students with this course you will also get the free access to the topic wise mock test for science as well as for logical list okay now students the syllabus link i will share with you in the chat box the fee for this course is 7648 and there will be 36 session in this course the payment link i will share in the chat box the fee include online classes daily reading notes and exercises because of previous year paper and like i said students you will also get to the get the access to the olympiad success platform for science as well as for logical reasoning topic wise mock test okay now to join this course what you need you need a laptop with good internet speed and as uh, ma'am already shared with you olympiad exam is tougher than regular school curriculum so students uh, you will be required to spend approx 2 hours every day to cope up with the curriculum and parent support will be needed to check answers and recreate concepts now students live classes for this course will start from 25th of august next week and currently we having students from 3800 school and we are catering in 35 plus countries so this is about this course students now let me give you a tour of olympiad success dashboard let me share my screen again i think it is visible to everyone yes sir okay so students uh, when you register with this course uh, we will share the login id credentials with you now i'm just logging with my credential to show you like where you can find the content reading material and everything let me sign in so in the live classes all content you will find okay so you need to choose your subject here that is science olympia so students like here you will find the schedule let me show you how it looks like so this is the session by schedule like on this session this topic we are going to cover and after each and every chapter there will be a mock test okay and in the end we have super classes okay so in super classes like i said we will discuss previous year questions okay now when you select a topic here you will find the reading material and practice question so the, these are the reading material related to the topic and this is practice questions and answer key. so after each and every uh, class what you can do you can go to the reading material for revision and you can practice questions uh, besides reading material and practice question we also have topic wise worksheet like i said uh, with this course you will get free access to the worksheet for science as well as for logical reasoning so you can access worksheet for logical reasoning as well as for science okay so this is the topic wise worksheet for each and every topic you will find the worksheet here you can attempt each and every worksheet for uh, three times all worksheet are in the form of exam to give you that experience and students uh, later on also if you want to check result for attempt uh, for the worksheet you have attempted in the performance tab you can see the detailed result for each and every worksheet you have attempted just choose your subject and here you will find the detailed result just click on view and here you will get the analytics like how many questions you have attempted how many are correct okay so students this is about it now if anyone have any query any doubt uh, you can ask us in the chat box sir i was having network problem priyas you can uh, switch or like you can switch the network if possible or uh, you can join on facebook there also you can see the demo okay So students, uh, do anyone have any other query? Please feel free to ask any doubt. You can write in the chat section. We'll be happy to answer that.
without no doubt. no doubt okay are you sure everything is clear to everyone because i am going to ask question then science is a subject which is best learned when you are you know you are in a habit of asking questions so we should not leave that habit so in case you have the slightest doubt please feel free to ask this is the time okay 1000% sure so percent only has 100 no i haven't heard right percent only has 100 that's the maximum limit of percent okay cent means 100 yeah what you have told now i haven't heard okay rehas please check your audio setting or maybe you can rejoin in case the problem persists okay so sir so yeah think yeah you should ask questions if they are yes. not asking questions yes sure ma'am so students can you tell me uh, like the days for the classes what are the days on which we have the classes good rehas your problem solving skills are at work okay only monday all day all days no we don't have all days 24 7 we are going to have science saturday so many of you uh, didn't not are you are not active when i am explaining when i am presenting the ppt i can't see any right answer up to now yeah so monday wednesday friday sunday is also wrong Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is also wrong. Let's see who gives the right answer. Okay, so uh, actually the days are Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Not Friday, <laughs> Mokshi. It's Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Rajesh and... will give the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, can you tell me the timing of the classes? what is the timing for the classes i wonder if they will say all time <laughs> 5 to 6:15 yes correct but it is am or pm in the message it is written that it is on monday wednesday thursday yes, friday correct. i have checked my whatsapp message Uh, no actually it is not uh, it is on monday uh, wednesday thursday and uh, saturday okay okay and can you tell me the number of sessions how many sessions are there so we they know the number of sessions at least and what is the starting date Twenty-five of what? Correct. That was correct. Correct. Number of session is also correct. Sir, I. Okay. Not heard anything because of. Uh, you can do one thing, Rehas. Uh, as we are live on Facebook now, so you can uh, check the demo again on Facebook. Okay. Okay, students. So, do anyone have any query, or shall we start with the session? No queries. Okay. We will start the session. Okay. We we got only one answer. Okay. I think we should now begin with the demo. Yes. Yes. Sure, ma'am. ज्योति मैम ऑल ओवर टू यू नाउ ओके मैम थैंक यू ओके सो वंस अगेन गुड इवनिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डेमो सेशन व्हिच टॉपिक आई हैव टेकन एनी गेसेस 
please don't write science topic because it's already a science class so please name the topic human body okay. no rajan it's not human body universe animals uh, english otherwise seeds plants okay no guesses i think you are not near to the topic also okay so the topic which we are taking today is simple machines okay you might have not heard simple machines you might have heard the word machines you all are using at your homes also yes machines okay so first of all we start with what is a machine first thing which comes to your mind that what is a machine you all are using you all are already using machines shruti saying ma'am i have done it what is a machine any example which comes to your mind or any definition anything first comes to your mind okay uh, shushrut has written that easy is our work yes definitely that's correct machine is a tool which make our work easier and simple that is also very correct uh, mokshik has given the answer you so you all are little bit aware that what is a machine definitely machine is a tool which is making our work more simple okay we can also say that machine are, is reducing the time period to complete the work can i say like this okay i will give you two statements and just think over it that which statement is the correct one one statement i will be speaking wrong and the one statement i will be speaking the correct one so you tell me which statement is correct first statement listen to the statement carefully first statement is that the machines they reduce our work first statement is machines reduce our work second statement is machines they reduce the time period to complete the work second statement is machine reduces the time period to complete the work there are two statements which i wish you tell the correct one number 1 is correct or number 2 is correct shivank is writing second statement is correct any other answer riyas second shushrut both ashma 2 2 okay so mostly the answers which are you all are giving are is two some are writing writing both also both are not correct see what is happening is if i want to cut for example we take a very simple example that we all your mothers are also doing in the kitchen and you are also seeing that we i want to mash the tomatoes okay let's take a very simple example i want to mash the tomatoes okay there are two ways either i should first cut it and just mash it manually or i or you more might have all have mixer at your kitchens so you can use that and simply make a tomato puree correct both ways we can do we can do manually also and we can use a machine and do the task okay if i want to take five tomatoes and i have to mash it manually with my hand and i'm taking five tomatoes and putting in a mixer and i'm mayor uh, using a mixer at out of these two who will take the less time mixer or my hands mixer shushrut has written mixer so work is what that i want to mash the tomatoes work is what work is mashing the tomatoes is the work but work remains the same but what is done with the machine or with the tool my time is reduced when i was doing with the hands it was usually taking me 15 to 20 minutes whereas as soon as i'm using a mixer it was hardly taking me 2 minutes is that clear so that is why second statement is the correct one that it is reducing the time period to complete the work it is not reducing my work my work remains the same that i want to mash the five tomatoes is this much clear to everyone so remember that it is reducing my time it is making my work simple definitely that correct that is a correct statement but also it is reducing my time period to complete the work is this much clear okay so this was the introduction about the machines now machines they are of two types you might have listen simple machines and the complex machines as the name suggest i just share my screen
Uh, all can see my whiteboard. Rajanya, yes, okay. Machine. So just now I told you it is reducing my time to complete the work. but not reducing the work. Now machines, they are of two types. One is known as simple machines, which we are going to study in detail. And the second one is known as complex machines. Now, as the name suggests, simple. Simple machine means it consists of only two, three parts. That is simple machine. Complex machine, which is the combination of, rather we can say, it is a combination of three or four machines, smaller machines. That is a complex machine. Now, tell me that our body, human body, is a simple machine or it is a complex machine? What do you think? Shrustiri, Shivan, complex, complex, Madiha, complex. Okay, so you all are aware that our human body is a complex machine. We are doing the work, so we are also a machine, and so we are a complex machine because so many systems are working together in our body. So it is a complex machine. Coming to simple machine, as it consists of only two, three parts, that is a simple machine. Now we start with simple machines in detail. Now, simple machines are of various types. For example, we have liver, we have pulley, we have wedge, we have inclined plane, we have screw, we have wheel and axle. These all names which I have taken, they are all examples or the types of simple machines. Lever, inclined plane, pulley, wedge, screw, wheel and axle. These are all the types of simple machines. We will take one by one in detail. Correct? Understood till now? Any doubt till now? Understood? Please give a thumbs up if you have understood this much. Okay. I'm first starting with lever. Okay. I will start with then showing you with an example so that you better understand. What is there in my hand? You all can see that. What is there in my hand? Fast, fast. What is there in my hand? Rehas has written scissors, Madiha scissors. Okay, Mokshik scissors. Okay, so you all know that this is a scissor. That's true. It is a scissor. Now, please understand carefully. It is a lever. Ma'am, how it is a lever? Now understand. Lever has three parts. Okay, lever has three parts. What are that three parts? One is known as fulcrum. One is known as load. And the third one is known as effort. Ma'am, what are these terms? Fulcrum. Fulcrum is actually the fixed point is known as the fulcrum. Load. Load is what? The object on which we have to work. What is effort? Effort is the force which we are applying. Clear? I repeat again, lever, we are starting the first simple machine that is lever. It has three basic parts, fulcrum, load and effort. Fulcrum is the fixed point, load is the object on which we work and the effort is the force which we are applying. Now we are taking a first example that is scissors. See, you all tell me, this is top, okay, just see and tell me the answer. Top, this is middle and this is bottom, correct? Top, middle, bottom. Now you all tell me, where is the fixed point of the scissor? Top, middle or bottom? Where is the fixed point of the scissor? Yes. 
Yes. So all I think so. Most of you or usually all have given the correct answer, ma'am. In the middle, there is a fixed point. So can I term that in the middle, it is known as fulcrum? Correct? In the middle, can I say it is the fulcrum? Okay. Suppose I want to cut the paper. Where I will put the paper? Top or bottom? Where I will put my paper? Okay, everyone is again giving the correct answer. We will put at the top. So can I say here I will put my load? Correct, here I will put my load. That is no, Ashma, it is the top one. Where you will put the paper, that is the top one. Rajanya, that is the top one. Where you will put your paper and cut. Okay, so that is the load. Here will be the load. Where will be the force? Where you are applying the force to cut the paper? Bottom, correct? That will be at the bottom. So, load is here. Please check now. I am again repeating. Load is here. In the center, there is the fulcrum. And at the bottom, there is the effort. Correct? Load, fulcrum, effort. Is the scissors clear to you, everyone? How come it is a liver and what are the three parts of it? I take one more example. This. What is this? Anyone knows what is this? You all might be having at your homes also. Yes, plier. Shushrut Mokshek has written pliers. Yes, it is a plier. Again, coming to here, where is the fixed point in this plier? These are all simple machines, simple tools. Okay, you're writing in the middle, correct. So this middle part, which is the fixed point, so that is why we can say this is the fulcrum. Where is the load? Where you are going to put the load? Top, correct. Most of you writing again, correct answer, ma'am. Here we will put the load. Where you are going to put the effort means the force. Yes, Ashma, top, bottom. Okay. So you will put the force at the bottom. So again, I can say load, fulcrum and the effort. Correct? Okay. Now I take another example. What is this? What is this? Tweezer. Yes, Shivang, you are correct. That is tweezer. Okay. Now here, you tell me this is top, this is middle and this is bottom. Now see that where is the fixed point in this tweezer? Bottom. So most of you are writing bottom. That's totally correct. So I can say at the bottom, there is the fulcrum. Where is the load? Where will be the load? Top. Abhinav has written Rajanya. Top. Correct. Where I am going to apply the force or the effort? No, not top. Yes, Ashma. Mokshek, Rajanya. Yes, all you are writing middle. That's correct. If I want to pick up something, so where I am going to put the force? In the middle. Here will be the road. Here is the fixed point and here I'm applying the force. So my force will be or effort will be in the middle one. Is that clear? Now, ma'am, in scissors, you told fulcrum is in the center, but in tweezer, you told fulcrum is at one corner. What is that? Actually, the lever is of three types. These were the parts of lever, fulcrum, load and effort. These were the parts of lever, but actually the lever is of three types, type one, Type 2 and type 3. Now, what are these types? The first example which you studied, that is the scissors, it is type 1 liver. How? In the center, there is the fulcrum. On one side, there will be effort. On the other side, there will be load. Fulcrum is in the center, that is for sure. Effort and load can change the positions. It's not that extreme left will be effort only and right will be load. It is not for sure. Is that clear? One more example that is of the liver first class is there in the parks. I've given you the hint. Now you can give me the example. In the park, there is a first class liver. SK Kumar, you have to write in the chat box. You're not allowed to unmute, so you need to write. 
in the parks there is a fuzz yes ashma that is seesaw correct so in seesaw also there is the fixed point in the center on one side one kid sit on other side other kid sit so in the center there is the fulcrum on one side there is the effort on the other side there is the load so this is type 1 or we can say first class lever is that clear coming to type 2 or the second class lever here what happens the fulcrum is at one corner in the center there is the load and on the extreme right there is the not on extreme right but uh, effort is at one corner so in this the load will be in the center the load will be in the center just imagine a um, your nutcracker have you seen a nutcracker yes how it is the nutcracker if i draw it is like this yes where this portion will be the fulcrum here will be the load and here will be the effort which you are going to apply so i can say the nutcracker is a second class lever clear coming to the third class here the again the fulcrum is at one corner the effort is in the center and the load is at another corner this example i have already given you can you tell me which example is it i have shown you this example yes shivang that is tweezer correct so tweezer is what tweezer is again the example of the third class lever i can show you again see here was the fulcrum in the middle i was applying the effort and here it was the load so it is a third class lever i hope lever topic is clear to all of you there are many more examples but basic the topic is clear so lever three parts fulcrum load and effort and they are of three types first class lever second class lever and the third class lever next we come to the second one that is wedge what is a wedge what is a wedge see wedge is what we can say here the two inclined planes are joined together where one side is blunt and the other side is sharp now can you think over the example okay i give one more clue to you you use this tool in your kitchen it is a combination or the combining of the two inclined planes where one end is your sharp and the other is your blunt yes all are giving the correct answer that is abhinav s k kumar mokshik accent that you all are correct the example is knife what is knife doing see this is a knife in my hand what is happening here it is a combination or joining of the two inclined planes these are two inclined planes here one side is sharp this side is sharp i can't touch it and the upper side is blunt so i can touch it is that clear where it is used if i want to cut the apple into two pieces i can use this wedge is that clear okay the axe is also an tool which is used to separate the wood apart okay if i have a wood piece so there is axe also which you can use example axe which is used to separate the woods apart this is the example of a wedge if you want to make the things apart coming to the third one that is inclined plane this i think you all know you all have seen inclined plane now these days they are inclined plane is there in the hospitals also in the schools also in the offices also the inclined plane what is that it is just a inclination from the ground if this is the ground level so it is the inclination at some angle that is known as the inclined plane this is an inclined plane okay now where it can be used okay it is used for the persons who are in wheelchairs that's totally correct that is one of the example that it is used in the hospitals in your uh, schools okay any other example where it is used yes stairs is again an example ramps that is again an example your uh, in water parks when you take the slides yes that is also we can say an example of the inclined plane correct 
that is also an example so inclined planes are used also like heavy objects which are there if you want to uh, uh, just unload a truck so you can use an un an inclined plane so that easily you can move the heavy objects down okay with less effort is that clear more the inclination more will be the force can i am i right is my this statement correct more the inclination more will be the effort if we want to raise something more force i need to apply if inclination is less this inclination angle is less less effort will be applied clear this is about inclined plane so we have covered till now first is lever second is wedge and the third is inclined plane next comes about pulley you might have seen pulley have you ever seen pulley anyone yes well is an example of a pulley definitely where you can see a wheel type is there okay and a rope is there around this wheel on one side the person is there okay who is just pulling the rope downwards and this side the bucket is there we can say and he is pulling the bucket upwards so here we can say effort is being applied and here is the load which you are putting it up like this correct that is an example of a pulley the example can be that you can take out bucket of water from the well that is an example of a pulley also you have some trolleys they also use the pulley their concept is also using a pulley like this if you have seen like this there is this is also to lift the loads they are for the pulleys there coming to the two types of pulley there are fixed pulleys and there are movable pulleys see beta the pulley which is there actually it is joined with a long stick type of thing that is known as an axle like this it is an axle when this axle is fixed we say it is a fixed pulley when this axle is moving we say it is a movable pulley i repeat again pulley is to lift the heavy loads first thing second thing is that there are two types one is fixed pulley the second one is movable pulley the fixed pulley is where the wheel is attached to a fixed axle movable pulley is where the wheel is attached to a movable axle okay both are lifting the loads concept is same i can show you uh, one video so just now which you saw is was the fixed pulley here there is these are fixed pulleys whereas this is a movable pulley
Okay, so coming back here, so that was a fixed pulley and the movable pulley, correct? Okay, next we come to, that is the next one, which is known as wheel and axle. Wheel and axle, another example of wheel and axle can be where wheel is also moving and the axle is also moving. Wheel is there. And the axle is attached to an axle. So wheel is moving and an axle is also moving. Any example? Steering of a car, that's correct. Steering wheel of a car, correct. Bus tires, okay, not bus, bus tires, okay. That is also an example of a wheel and axle. Door knobs, how you open the door knobs? Like this, you do and open it. That is again an example of a wheel and axle. Is that clear? Example is like your door knobs. Toy car. They also have the wheel and axle. Clear? Next, coming to the next one, that is a screw. Have you ever seen a screw? Or I can say nail because we need to see the difference between a screw and a nail. See, this which I'm showing you is a nail. This is a nail. Where we use this nail? Any idea? Where we are using this nail? To hang pictures, frames, wood. That's totally correct. So this nail is used to like, I put it on the wall. I want to hang something. Definitely I can do that. This is a nail. Now, what is a wedge? Screw. This is a screw. Can you see the difference? I'm breaking it closer to the camera. Can you see the difference? Anyone can just see the difference and tell me what is the difference? But this is screw and this is the, oh, sorry, this is nail and this is the screw. To fit something to hang, that's okay. Difference, I'm asking now the difference between the screw and the nail. It's round thing around the screw. Okay, that is the round thing. Okay, screw has the grooves. Okay. Okay. So you can see in the picture that is the, if I take a nail, so nail is simply, we can hang something. Okay, that is, we are using the nail. But if we come to screw, the difference, most impo important difference is the circular ridges, which you are saying now. That are the circular ridges which are there in the screw. What actually is means more beneficial screw? Why it is more beneficial? Because what happens, the screw is used when we want to join the two things together. That time we use the screw. Okay, when we want to join two things together, we use the screw because these are the circular ridges which hold the two things tightly. Clear? One example of a screw I can give you is the bottle cap. You all have seen bottle caps. See how I'm opening the bottle cap. See, what is there? There are ridges which are there on the bottle top and also inside the cap also there are ridges. That is why I'm using it as a screw. Is that clear? These are the circular ridges which are there on the bottle top and also in the cap. Clear this much? So we have covered with the lever, we have covered with your uh, inclined plane, then we have covered with pulley, then we have covered with wheel and axle, then we have covered with screw or nail, and we have also covered with the wedge. Clear? Now, any doubt you want to ask me anything? Any question or anything you have not understood? Okay, no doubt. Abhinav is saying no doubt. Okay. Then I'll ask you some questions.
Okay. Now read this first question and give me the answer. Any option? A, B. A, can't be there. This I explained you in the first introductory part also. It will not reduce our workload. B, obviously can't be there because A option is not there. So D can't be there. Here, the example given is a wheelbarrow. It is also one of the lever. So it is always easier and faster to complete the work with assistance and in the case of wheelbarrow in this case. Coming to the second question. Second question now, please coming to second question. Rehas, I'll show you wheelbarrow, don't worry. Okay, second question answer you all are giving that is none of the following because fulcrum load and effort just now we have studied these are the parts of lever. So here nowhere lever is there. Third question. Claw hammer is this one. Okay. D, D. So all are giving here the correct answer. That is the D one. Correct? Okay, understood? This is a wheelbarrow. Can you see that? You were asking that. This is a wheelbarrow. Here there is the wheel. Like you might have seen some people carrying the load on this type of a thing. Okay? This is a wheelbarrow. Here. So I stop here. Okay. Any no doubt you have? So over to you. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Over to you, Rajan, sir. Hello. Yes, Rajans. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the wonderful yeah, session. Okay. So, students, uh, you can write in the chat box. How was the session? Excellent. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful adjectives. Okay, so students, uh, live classes for this course will start from 25th of August. So I'm sharing some links in the chat box. Okay, what you can do, you can copy the links. This link will help you to join the live classes. Thank you, students. Okay. Okay, so let me check. She had all the things. Peter Samus, I love this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jyoti ma'am, for the wonderful session. Thank you so much. And sir. thank you, students, for joining today. Now, Jyoti ma'am will meet you in the live classes. Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay, then. Bye-bye, kids. Bye. -bye, kids. Bye. <laughs>